Hi guys, my name is Arya and I welcome you all to this Nmap tutorial. Now, you guys must be wondering what exactly is Nmap and why should I learn it? Well, Nmap is a network scanner that is widely used by ethical hackers to scan networks as the name suggests. Now, you might wonder, why do I need a network scanner? Well, suppose let me give you an example. So, suppose you have a Wi-Fi that has been set up in your new house and you realize that your data is being actually consumed at a faster rate than you are using it. Now, you have suspected that it's your pesky neighbor who keeps on connecting to your Wi-Fi and eating up all your data. So, to actually confirm all your doubts, what you want to do is a network scan. And Nmap is a pretty wonderful tool to do that. Now, Nmap runs on Linux, uh, Mac OS and Windows and I'm mostly going to be running this on Linux because that's what I do most of my penetration testing and network testing on. So let's go ahead and get on with the installation of Nmap on your computer. So what you do is go apt-get install Nmap. Now for uh, this you have to be logged in as root. If you're not logged in as root just add sudo before this whole command and it will install it. Now I already have Nmap installed so I'm not really going to install it again and again. So let's just go ahead and just do a few scans on our website that is www.edureka.co and we are going to see what we get back as results. So first of all let me just show you how you can scan a certain domain name service or sort DNS. So Nmap we are going to use a flag all the time. Now let me just tell you uh, what are flags. So if you just go into Nmap and type dash dash help this will give you all the flags and options that are available to actually use on Nmap. So if you are actually stuck and you can't remember stuff just go in and type Nmap dash dash help and it will give you all the stuff. Now network scans generally take a long time so I'm going to be using the fast mode most of the time. So for fast mode all you have to do is type in edureka.co and sit and wait for this scan to get over. Now when the scan gets over you will see a bunch of information and let me just wait till that information pops up and then we'll talk about the information together. Okay so as you guys can see our scan has been completed. It took 13.71 seconds to actually do the scan. Now as you guys can see it shows us the ports, the states and the services. Now the ports is basically the port number which our service that is also binder to is working on. So we can see that SSH service is working on port number 22, SMTP on 25, HTTP on 80, RPC bind on 111 and HTTPS on 443. So that is how you can use Nmap to scan a certain website. Now if you see Nmap has also given us the public IP of the DNS because what Nmap does is it looks up the DNS and then translates it to an IP that is recognized to that DNS server. So Nmap also returns the public IP. So what we can do also is Nmap hyphen F and 34.210.230 and .35. Okay, so as you guys can see that our command also works when we put in the IP address and it produces the same results. Now, we can also um, scan for multiple hosts. Now, suppose you are on a network and you want to scan for multiple hosts. Now, you don't really want to run different commands for that. Now, what you can do is just go in and type nmap and a bunch of IP addresses like 192.168.1.1 and 192.168.1.2 and 192.168.1.3 and what this will do is it will run an nmaps scan on these three different IP addresses and you did this uh, in just one command so that's a way that you can do this now you can also know about how much of your scan is left by just pressing the up button so that will tell you and give you a constant update on how your scan is going like mine is 32.4 percent done and 34.7 now and also show you kind of the time remaining okay so till this port scan is going on let me just tell you about the states now states can be of two types open closed and unavailable sometimes you'll see that it is unavailable and that's because some sort of firewall or something is running out there States can also be closed. In that case, mostly Nmap will not return you any result unless you're explicitly finding something of the closed state. So that was a little trivia on states and how they work. Let's see how much our scan is done. So our scan is done 81% and it takes around another 20 seconds. It should be done soon. 
Now this scan could be significantly made faster with just the F tag, but I really want to give you all a good look into how this works. 97, 98, 99. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is our result. It gives us a bunch of ports and services. Now, as I just said, this thing can be also closed and also unavailable. So, open and closed, we see both the examples. Okay, so that was about how you can scan multiple ports. So, you can also scan multiple ports with this command, as I will show you. So, 192.168.1.1230. Now what this will do is basically scan everything from 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.2 up to 30 like that. So this is a very useful way of actually scanning multiple IP addresses. And let me just show you how that works. Since we have used the F flag, this is going to work considerably faster. Now, as you guys can see out here, this had taken around 119 seconds, so that's around 2 minutes. Now, this will take a considerably lesser time. So, let's see, this was done in 29.91 seconds, and we did 30 IP addresses. So, we see that hyphen F surely speedens the whole scanning process. Now, you can also give Nmap a target list. Now, let me make a target list, so targets.txt. Let me just cat it out for you. So there's nothing in it. Now all I want to do is edit this file. So let me just edit that file and put it 192.168.1.1.192.168.1.2.192.168.1.3.192.168.1.4.192.168.1.5 or 15. Boom, roasted. Now all we have to do is save it. So that saves it and control X to actually exit it. Now you can go ahead and view what is in targets.txt. So as you guys can see, this is what is in targets.txt. And now you can just pass it to Nmap with the IL flag. And you could say that Nmap is going to actually scan all the IP addresses that are in this file. So let that just run. So this will take a little bit of time because it's five IP addresses and it's not really running on the fast mode. 83% of our work is done. Okay, so as we see, our scan has been completed. Now, what you see out here is the scan results for whatever we had provided in the targets.txt list. So, that's how you can also provide nmap input file and it will give you the results for all the targets that were specified in the file. Now, let's go ahead and talk about a little bit on port scanning. So Nmap is also a brilliant tool for scanning ports. And if you have a server or a website, you know that there are around 65,535 ports out there on every server. And almost 99% are unused. So sometimes scanning ports is really a necessity. Now you can scan ports by just using the P flag and specifying the port number. And this is how you would do it. And you would just specify the IP address after that. So I'm going to use www.edureca.co and what you can also do is this will scan only the port number 20 but you can also scan from port number 20 to 25. You can also put in commas and tell Nmap you also want to scan all these other port 80 is HTTP and 443 is HTTPS. So you can surely do that. So let me just go ahead and run this. Okay so that gives us an information on the ports that is there. Now, something about ports also, you suppose you know you want to scan for some HTTP ports. So you can just say nmap and with the hyphen P, you can just say that I want to scan the HTTP port on www.edureka.co. So that will just go ahead and do that. And as you guys can see, that gave us a result. And you can also add in stuff like MySQL, FTP, and stuff like that. So let me just see. and. Uh, show you how that runs okay http is not a port sht okay so as you guys can see these are the ports that are running and it gave us according to the name now if you want to scan all the ports you can use hyphen p hyphen and then the ip address at www.edureca.co now this generally takes a lot of time because you're basically doing 65,000 scans so i'm not really going to do that i'm going to quit this out 
Another thing that I want to show you all that generally takes a lot of time to actually execute is called something like an aggressive scan. So as you guys can see out here, I have done an aggressive scan on Edureka. So to do that, all you have to do is nmap-a and then you go edureka.co. So let us see how much time did this take to actually execute. This took 459 seconds. That's a long time for a scan. But it gives us a bunch of other information. For example, it gives us the trace route. So what is a trace route, first of all? So trace route is the route taken by a packet to actually reach the clients and the target server. So as you guys can see, our packet had 22 hops. First it went to the first hop was to the gateway router, that is 192.168.1.1. Then it went to the Airtel lease line, then it went to this IP address, then it went to the BSNL, VSNL.net, and it went to London, New York, then Chicago, and it went all the way up to wherever this thing is hosted. That was some information, and then there is some other information given to us, like the TCP open, TCP wrap, program versions, port types, port states, and all sorts of other information is given about in an aggressive scan. Another scan that I have previously also done and kept for y'all is because it takes a lot of time, and I have done something called the service version. So nmap hyphen s and v with v capital will give you the service version. So it tries to actually guess the version of the service that is running. So for example, on the TCP port, it tells us it is postfix smtpd. On the Apache, it's Apache sttpd. And you can see all sorts of versions that are here. Another thing nmap is generally brilliant is for guessing the operating system that is running. Now, I have already done this scan previously because this takes a humongous amount of time that I don't really have, and that is 386.34 seconds, and this scan together basically took me more than 10 minutes, and I don't really have that kind of time for explaining all this stuff. So, as you guys can see out here, the OS is kind of, OS detail is Fortinet, FortiGate, it kind of tries to guess the OS upon the time to live that is in the response from the packets that it sends. So hyphen S, V, hyphen O, and hyphen A are some really cool th stuff that you might want to know. Another thing that you can do is trace route, as I had just told y'all, and y'all can do trace route separately. So you go hyphen hyphen trace route, and then you say the name of any sort of website. So suppose I want to know how I reach Netflix.com. So I go Netflix.com, uh, and this will give me a trace route that shows me how my packet actually reaches netflix.com okay so this is basically it was a uh, direct one hop okay so that was surprising on the other hand if I were to do this on edureka.co it would take a bunch of hops to actually reach there okay, this might just take some time to run okay so it's 94% done I'm just waiting for it to get completed okay so this gave us the hop and as you guys can see, we took 22 hops to actually reach edureka.co and it's the same process. You go through a bunch of IP addresses and then you reach this thing called US West to compute.amazon.ews. Okay, so that was about trace route. Now, just to end this tutorial, let me just tell you guys that you all can also save a file to nmap and that is basically save all whatever you found from a search into a file and let me just show you how to do that. Now sometimes when you are working as a security analyst, you will have to perform network scans on a wide area network that is huge. It's basically huge. And these scans take a lot of time and you don't really have the space on your command line to actually store that and see that in a way that is feasible for analysis. So what you want to do is actually save it in a file. So what you can do is say nmap. O N and then you can say the name of the file. We could say results.txt and we could save this in file. So www.edureka.co. So whatever search result is going to be generated is going to be stored in this file called results.txt. Now this file need not exist from before. It will just be created by nmap. And now you see if I do ls we have a targets or a results.txt. Now if I just cat out that file, let me just less it actually. Results.txt. And what you see out here is an nmap scan result that is stored. 
Um, another thing that I would like to show you all before I end this end map tutorial is a uh, verbose mode. So for verbose mode is basically when we were pressing up arrows to see how much of our scan is done, you can basically do that with verbose mode. So you go hyphen F and hyphen V for verbose and you could say www.edureka.co and this will basically give you a verbose mode of what is actually going on. I'll tell you everything and boom roasted there it's done and we have finished our nmap tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about this nifty little tool called nmap and I hope you guys have fun experimenting with this tool of course with permission levied onto you and I hope you don't do something unethical. I bid you farewell until next time. Bye bye. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!